heart-touching moments of a soldier who came home after three years and found out he is gonna become a father. It's a miracle! Yeah, thank God you're heavily religious. Oh, I feel attractive today. What? You are ugly. But I... Did I hesitate when I said that? No, you didn't. <laughs> He's right. Mom making food for her children versus for herself. Yogurt, we got some cute little sandwich bread and some berries and fruits and yum yum yum. Meanwhile, mom lives the simple life. Bread crust, coffee, let's go. Would you still love me if I was ugly? That question doesn't make sense because I hate you. Oh, wait, really? And you're ugly. <laughs> Sorry, are these two unwholesome? Let's go to the other end for a second. Got a dog to guard the house, but then he became strangely compliant. If you're still on that TV, you best be giving me up at least three belly rubs. I want a divorce. Then just leave. Okay. Lol, JK, don't actually do what I say. Who do you take me for? Someone without communication issues? Fool. Me cheering myself on because I managed to get out of being a dad. Just one more trip away from getting a free Sunday at Planned Parenthood. Ah, a child. Guess it's time to stop having adventures. Well, I don't think so. You're right. I suppose raising her will be its own kind of adventure. But no, I mean, she looks pretty light. I can throw her away and we can go on adventures. Wait, what? I like that. Let's do it. A yeet. I like my coffee like I like my women. Silent and submissive. Mm. Actual wholesomeness time. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to get on a fire truck. I'm tempted to just walk my grown butt over to a fire station and just ask. One hour later. Oh my god, it worked! Look, it's me! I'm a fireman! Ew, a man fulfilling his lifelong dreams. How selfish of them to project such an expectation upon you. This means is no longer wholesome because I feel personally attacked. Baltimore Symphony Musician, save us! 2,400 lucky people got to hear John Williams conduct a program of his music on Wednesday night. One who didn't was a security guard stationed in the stairwell leading to the musician's locker rooms. Seth Lowe gave her a mini concert of Star Wars themes, much to her delight. I guess so I kind of lost the sheet music, so you're cool with just the Darth Vader theme over and over again? The first 13 times were fine, thank you. I'm well, good. I thank can, you, honestly, I, thank you. Oh, well, how about Wonderwall? Please leave! Divorce means you failed your family. It means love can't exist. It means we can't cheer each other on. It means our marriage did not work. I hope you remember that. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. You'll, You'll die, die alone. alone. How quaint. My friends are wishing me a life where I don't deal with anyone else's BS. Oh, <laughs> how blissful. Rain, can you erase these sad memories for me? Oh, sorry. No can do. Actually, that reminds me. Uh, these are some more sad memories, though. Uh, there you go, buddy. Have a little peruse of them. Wait, wait. This memory's like last week when I just said hi to the cashier. Yeah, notice how she said hello back without any care in her eyes? Yeah, that's because you're ugly. That, that feels like you're just projecting. No, I'm your brain, so it's the truth. I love honey, but you know what I don't love? Your mom. Our marriage has been slowly failing over the past year. Oh my god, this is relatable. Ooh, story time. So one day, I was about 16, 17 at the time, my entire family does a little outing of sorts. Rather nostalgic, going to see some beaches, grab some fish and chips, have some lunch near the beach, stuff like the good old days. We come home, shortly after, my mom advises me with this exact same level of context that yeah, my parents are getting a divorce. Turns out that outing was an attempt to ease it onto me, and I think they bailed on it because I said, as we were eating fish and chips, <laughs> Hey, this is nice. I miss doing this as a family. It's nice to do this every now and again. We should try and do this more often. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing what I said, but it was along those lines. Either way, funny. This is relatable. This is relatable. Empty office. Psych! Not anymore! Guys, help me! I'm stuck in the ceiling! Shut up, Craig. It's never a dull conversation with Kyle. Yeah, honestly, Tate's ban off social media is like a crime against freedom of speech. Dan is strange. He has boundary issues. Say Hi, Dan. Can I wear your skin? No, Dan. Okay, I'll check in tomorrow. Dakota is a vegan. Nobody likes her. I told you I'm Virginia, not vegan. Same thing, Dakota. Gosh, so annoying. Guess who just got a promotion? Honestly, I feel like you're the only one who respects me and my tiny legs. Jim always knows how to make me laugh. I almost tried again today. Ha ha ha! So funny, Jim. Bye, Jen. Good luck with your pap smear. Why would you say that to everyone? Guess who needs a ride home? Dan. Did you see this sports game? on the television. No, I don't uh, I don't watch sports. Was, yeah. Yeah. You should, you know. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. In summary, his job has made him go in a downward spiral 
Cradle to Madness. You'll be better off without me. What? I would. Wait, I'd what? be a different person. No, no what? And what I'd you... like that person more. No, I was trying to just fish for compliments. Moe's Tavern, loneliest man in the world speaking. Is a uh, Mr. Handsome there? First initials, I am. I am handsome. Oh, thank you, Bart. I really needed that today. You're welcome. By the way, take a moment to ponder over the fact that this is the only compliment you'll ever receive for the next decade of your life. Bart, please don't ruin this for me. My English teacher says we shouldn't refer to authors by their first names because they aren't our friends. Will you confirm our friendship and let me call you Neil on my American Gods book report? Hello, I'm Neil, the guy who authored that book. Absolutely. You are my friend, 42 Sky 42. It is now law that you must join me for coffee every Friday afternoon. Did you know one in three people are ugly? I'm not ugly. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that checks out. Sorry, that's harsh. Let's get back to the wholesome. I hate being a box. Everybody only cares about what I have inside. I am a kitty. I find potential in you. I shall enter you with your consent. Uh, yeah, sure. Huzzah! I see your worth. Oh, thank you! Now you're full of shim, it. Oh, what's that? A little gift from me to you. Well, no, that's actually a pretty big one. Oh, it's stinky. Oh, you're lucky you don't have a nose. Dad, unra- <laughs> Unra unwrapping his Christmas gift. A cardboard box? Just what I wanted! Me. Dad! You have to open it. Dad. I know you stupid, stupid boy! I was trying to be funny, but you ruined it! You ruined Christmas! <laughs> wasn't that a wholesome, relatable moment? <laughs> oh, so relatable for us all, wasn't it? <laughs> was it just me? No, just, just my own trauma, I guess. <laughs> No, that actually wasn't my dad. No, my dad was pretty chill. How my relatives think it's going for me after I moved out of my parents' house. Living that high life, eating a donut inside a donut in a suit. How it really is. Captain Clark, food and water ran out four days ago. My clothes have been left in the laundry basket, but they don't seem to be cleaning themselves. Why? Why? If you ever find yourself cringing at something you did in the past, it means you have grown as a person. True. Fair point. Counterpoint, if every time you do think of those cringy moments, you have a personal panic attack, that's caused you to have some slight anxiety towards any sort of social interaction that is slightly relating to said memory. Uh, are you really growing as a person or are you just maybe slightly tilting to the side of the original person you used to be? Asking for a friend. What was the highest waste of money that you don't regret? My first paycheck, I bought a $900 wedding cake. Me and my brother had no way to get it home since it didn't fit on our skateboards. We just had a cake fight in the parking lot. Wow, that's a wholesome memory. My brother passed away shortly after that. No! I still think about that day whenever I'm sad. Why do you let yourself suffer? When your best friend's parents say, you're not a guest anymore, you're a terrible person. <laughs> Okay, are those tears of joy, though? <laughs> they look like tears of joy, you anarchist. How your pee changes the world. Yes, after years of holding it in, I now radiate urination. They told me it would be a waste of time. And they were right, for my waste has times infinitely. I'm sad. Hey, I pooped in these. Ew, wait, what? Ew, what? Get away from me. Meow, meow. I'm your cat. Remember your cat? Can you not bring up mittens? No, I don't have a shovel. Oh. Oh, you're asleep. Time for me to pop them back, pimples. Good doggy. Can you not treat me like a dog? Then don't wet the bed. That was you! No, it wasn't. Do you smell gas? Oh, lighten up. Please stop choking me. Shh. Shh. Not until you drink your poop. Finding an old poop magazine in grandma's house. This looks weird and silly, but I want to keep looking at it. Why do you keep feeding me? Because I know you feel happier when you're full. Oh, you're lying. Yeah, if I feed you enough, we'll get on my 600 pound life and I can feed my ever expanding ego. Don't you see it? By feeding you, I'm feeding myself. Nom, 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 nom. I'm trying to figure out who you are. That's my job. You just have to love and accept me. Oh, actually, I don't give a frick. My adopted dad explaining why it's okay if I want to try and find my real dad. Me waiting for him to finish so I can tell him I found my real dad the day he brought me home. Oh, son, that's so sweet of you. Yeah, he drove by in a limousine, threw some food at my face and said, ha ha, and then drove off. Oh. So I'm gonna go leave and find oh. him and, you know, try and leech off his wealth. Oh, okay. My grandpa, who knows nothing about video games, but loves me very much and wants to relate to me. Press, did you press start to play, son? Did you win that? Did you win that, that level? Did you press start to play? Did you win it? 
relationship advice. I, 24 male, know that my girlfriend, who's 19, is lying to me. We were chilling in my room when she said, I've just thought of a lie that I tell you sometimes. I paused my game and asked her to go on. Sometimes, she said, I say that I need a hug from you when actually I think you're the one that needs a hug. She's a keeper. Oh, how sweet. Manipulation. Oh, <laughs> sociopathic tendencies are so romantic when they're only in a positive light, not at all taken in any way that can be abusive. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not a negative Nancy. I'm a realist, is what all negative Nancys say. Imagine waking up for an 8 a.m. class and this is what you walk in and see. Hey, he got up extra early to make a holiday class a little fun. Be nice and respect what he's doing. Sorry if I seem a little blue, class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife passed away. This is how I cope. Waiting for my husband to see the meme I texted him from across the room. Uh, babe, what, uh, what's this? <laughs> Female dating strategy was right. This is the best way to announce my divorce. Whee! Feel better. <laughs> Feel better. Hey, feel better! Yeah, uh, Dad, will you always pick me up when I'm sad? Always, son. <laughs> 20 years later. Uh, Dad, what are you doing? I'm kicking you out, you sad disappointment of a son! Yeet! I can't explain how I feel, said Tiny Dragon. Can I learn more words than freaking moron? The big panda said. Wow. What is your wish, my town? Well, I wish I would stop second-guessing myself. Really? You're going to wish for that? Hey, it's my wish, so I get to be- Yay. Hey! I can lift anything, for I am strong. Can you lift me up? <sighs> I'm sorry, but no. You are too fat, even for me. Often the only person who can't see that is yourself. <laughs> the social pressure to pursue unhealthy gym habits. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday to me. I'm gonna have my cake in bed. <sighs> Unfortunately for them, the cake was made of asbestos. Moral of the story, don't eat asbestos. Found my clone selling nuts in Istanbul. We couldn't communicate, but the whole market was cry laughing. Tis a pleasure to meet you, sir. Unfortunately, I have too high of an ego to respectfully allow you to exist within my own plane. So, to the death it is. Admission for one, please. Here's my single ticket for one. Good Snacks are so expensive. Good thing I have you, Jimmy. Oh, someday I'll be someone's favorite dinosaur. 83.5 million years later. Hello, welcome to my diagram of the Schmitty Saurus. Here is the twat. There is the ugly. I hate this fricker. He's unlovable. He's an idiot. Ah, this dinosaur is so much butt. Loser. God, I'm just so passionate with my hate. If it isn't already clear, I'm on Twitter. I wonder if anyone even likes my song. Oh, please kill me, my ears are freaking tying. When you meet your fifth grade teacher and she still hates you. After all this time? Always. Why have you not aged? I'm like 80. I'm a teacher, Stephen. I never age. Teachers really used to hype up the end of year party just to serve us this. Ugh. This is absolutely the teacher's fault. Not at all the people who give the funding to the teachers. Underpaid teachers who were trying to make an effort to their students. Yeah, cool, man. I'm just, I'm just living off slave wage. This is cool. In their last moments. People show you who they really are. Who's a photographer who takes pictures of Spider-Man? I don't know. His stuff comes by mail. I'm knitting a sweater for you. Uh, thanks, but the size looks a bit too big for me. Uh, after a few years, it is done. This took my entire life, but I hope you appreciate it. looks freaking ugly. Took my six-year-old to a classmate's birthday party today. He was the only other kid there. His parents thanked me for bringing him and said he was the only one their son wanted to invite because my son's the only one in school who's nice to him. Teach your kids to not be a-holes. So I took my kid home shortly after. <laughs> no way is he gonna hang around with losers. Here is a new challenge for all you bored teens. Take a photo of an area that needs some cleaning or maintenance, then take a photo after you have done something about it, and post it. Alternatively, if everywhere is too clean for you to do so, take a photo of you surrounded by a bunch of tied up bags of rubbish, then trash it everywhere, and simply swap the photos around for social media. Call that insane, but let's be honest, people have done more stupider things for clout. Thanks, Darren. Blah. 
not Ha! Idiot. I go to the same gas station every day after work for beer and burritos. Today, when I asked for my burritos, the guy said, They're hot. I knew you'd be here, so I made a fresh batch. And that is the most thoughtful schmidt anyone's done for me in a while. Yeah, I put a lot of effort in the ones I made earlier, but these ones I just, you know, quickly made up because I don't care about you. <laughs> Please, stop coming here. Birth child. Adopted child. Death, death in a tragic playground play accident. Mom, donating 15 trees. I want my grandma grandkids to know this world. Uh, hello, it's me from five months later. Turns out my stupid kids are child free. Uh, I'd like my money back, please. I'll never be as big as that tree. Why do I even bother? <laughs> I schmidt on this schmitty tree. My kids buying me gifts. Oh. My kids making me gifts. <laughs> Me realizing that I have no kids and that I can buy myself whatever the frick I want. Ah, yeah! What does adopted mean? Well, little friend, that means your real parents never loved you.